His life had been one of persecution and insult. Driven from Bethlehem by a jealous king, rejected by his own people at Nazareth. Condemned to death without a cause at Jerusalem, Jesus with his faithful followers found a temporary asylum in a strange city. He who was ever touched by human woe, who had healed the sick, restored sight to the blind, hearing to the deaf, and speech to the dumb, who fed the hungry and comforted the sorrowful, was driven from the people he had labored to save. He who walked upon the heaving billows and by a word silenced their angry roaring, who cast out devils that in departing acknowledged him to be the Son of God, who broke the slumbers of the dead, who held thousands entranced by his words of wisdom, was unable to reach the hearts of those who were blinded by prejudice and hatred, and who stubbornly rejected the light. Written by Ellen G. White, taken from the book The Desire of Ages, page 541. Dear friends, listen to the passage that was read again and again, and by doing that, I hope you would realize what the love of God truly is. Christ is the personification of love. Without coming to Christ, we can never profess to love anyone. No, it is not possible. For the Bible says, the heart is deceitful. It is deceitful above all things. Throughout the ministerial life of Christ, the stubborn, stone-hearted Jewish leaders, by their willful rejection of God's grace, asked for God's judgment upon them. But in return, the Lord continued to pour His grace upon them. The more they rebelled, the greater was the Lord's invitation. How could they do that against the Lord is a mystery. The reason of this message is not to focus on those evil leaders. It is to focus on our hearts today. Can some of us be doing the same thing today? Could we be like those evil leaders? Aren't many of us continuously rejecting the loving invitation of God every day? I'm sure we are. That is exactly why there is so much sorrow, sickness and death in the world today. And we see this great sorrow even in the Church of God. With the love that surpasseth the infiniteness of this universe, Jesus pleads again to you today. What is your answer? 